Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and wanted to reproduce something like this. And it's, you know, you could maybe uh, trace this, but it would take you forever. And if the people that they're doing the trophy for, if it doesn't have to be this exact motorcycle, it would be a lot easier to just find a clip art off the internet and I did by typing in clip art dirt bike because these are dirt bikes and I picked out one that's not particularly big it's a 428 by 500 here's another one I can't really see what it says but there's a number of ones you could use and just pick out one you want you know there's some that are ridiculously and like this one's got a watermark on it and actually has spikes. But it's easier just to take this clip art, go up to bitmap, and resample it. And it's already at 600 dots branch, so you don't need to do any more. Go up to convert to bitmap and convert it to black and white. Go up to bitmap and outline trace it, clip art reduce the size because it's 600 dot per inch and if it looks good you don't have to do anything else hit ok set your nudge distance on this thing is only an inch and a quarter so i've got my nudge distance set on two this is my new trace i'm going to go to arrange and ungroup and by doing that i can get rid of the name and there was a a white background there that I just got rid of. Now, here's kind of the key trick. The main black, if you nudge it over, it's going to be all black. So left click, right click, and you get that outline. But we've lost some of the interior parts of the motorcycle. So what I suggest to do is take your yellow box trick, fill that in with yellow, and put it in the back of the page. And you can see our interior parts that we need to keep to make the graphic look better and one of them is the wheels I'm going to just nudge that over nudge that over nudge over that little yellow part little white part and then we get rid of this and just delete everything else that's in there now we've got some parts in here and we're going to select everything we're going to put no fill red hairline and our little parts show up then with your smart fill tool just fill them in make it black nudge it over left click right click and now you have a very good outline of the motorcycle it's all been welded together and there is one i did on a rock and my artistic ability kind of shows that i don't have any artistic ability on my rock but then you just draw a rock. Uh, it doesn't have to be this rock because it's a little bit different motorcycle. And then just keep in mind, you could angle this motorcycle, you know, maybe not as high as I did on the first one. I actually used this rock to uh, kind of simulate a rock. And this is kind of old school tracing, freehand tool. Just kind of trace this rock. Of course, it's going to be different than the, the original one. And now you have a rock. Let's cursor that over. Let's make the bottom flat. So we're going to take this node and that node. I don't want that other node. So let's select that one. Hold down the shift key and select this one. Right click. And turn them into a line and now we get if we delete this one we get a let me add a node right here and a node right there and let's select that let's select that node hold down the shift and that node and right click and make it to a line now you have a flat line on your rock I'm not a real big fan of this so you could take the shape tool or the smoothing tool and smooth your rock out you don't want to really do too much because you don't know what it's going to look like 
against your motorcycle. And then here's our new traced motorcycle. And this is the kind of the fun part in, in relatively easy. Let's just, and let's don't, this time I had it touch the wheel on the last one. Just take your shape tool and take, select these two nodes and just kind of move them up into the motorcycle. Let's select these three and kind of move them up to the wheel of the motorcycle. We're going to probably bring this one down to kind of give us a level shape. And I'm not for sure that's a line, so let's select them both again. Right click into line. Now we've got a good flat line. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these two lines. This is what's going to hold it together. Then I always do this, not necessarily in this one because I know there's no leaks. But draw a rectangle around it just in case it leaks and fill that in. I'm going to change my fill to black. And what that does, it allows you to kind of weld that together. And then you can left click, right click and outline. Then the person I'm doing this for, you can write in whatever they want on here. You could change a lot to this. Um, you could, you know, it's got knobby tires on it. You could redesign the wheels. I kind of like this. It does show the, the spokes of the motorcycle. I would maybe make this one a little rounder. You know, take your shape tool and maybe delete these, some of these. And worst case scenario, and let's just do that. Draw you a two-point line from there to there. And let's just delete this wheel. Then take you your ellipse tool and just draw you a new wheel. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Kind of get it in the center. And run a line through there. There's a little bit of leftover right there. See if I can get it without. So now you got a perfectly straight round wheel. And there's a lot you can do with this. I mean, not real happy about the fender. If you have X8 and above, you can use the smooth, smooth tool. You just got to click on it first and then start smoothing it out. And everything else looks good. Then you can always look at it with the Smart Fill tool. And that looks pretty good. Now you could do the same thing by taking away the knobby tires. If you didn't want that to happen, just draw that same, what we did earlier with the inner wheel, just draw an outer wheel without the knobby tires. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.